Un gusto estar con ustedes nuevamente, queremos aprovechar de darles la bienvenida a los que están entrando a este canal, si es primera vez que estás visitando Business Live, deseamos que disfrutes el contenido, que puedas también sumarte al canal, suscríbete y queremos darte un avance de lo que hemos logrado y lo que ahora el canal tiene disponible para ti. Son tres membresías que tendremos en nuestro canal. Todo está servido, puedes ingresar hoy mismo a la membresía que más te conviene, a la membresía que te va a beneficiar a ti y que te va a mantener unidito con nosotros, con la familia Vimes Live para seguir optimizando la salud emocional. Y hay algo muy interesante que debes tener presente, que puedes empezar con la primera membresía e ir escalando. Puedes ir escalando, de esa forma vas a poder ir desarrollándote en, tu, en, en la formación emocional, en la gestión de las emociones, en el crecimiento como persona y luego acceder al siguiente, a la siguiente membresía y luego a la de pioneros emocionales. Y así también nos irán conociendo, Ale, me parece que eso es algo importantísimo porque vas dando pasos seguros. Sin embargo, los de ustedes que ya tienen años con la familia Vimes y nos conocen, pueden comenzar desde la membresía número 3. En esta membresía quería recordar algo. Van a tener descuentos importantes en los cursos que nosotros demos. De aquí en adelante habrán otras membresías y los mantendremos informados. Así que queremos que te unas en esta oportunidad, en este campo que nos permite disfrutar y alcanzar nuestros objetivos. Nos vemos dentro en las membresías. Hello, hello. <laughs> My name is Karen Marinas and I'm an emotional wellness coach. It's so good to be here with everyone. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to have a calm mind. Serenity is such an important topic because we're just coming out of a global pandemic and we want, may want to lead a calm life, but anxiety and stress is just so common. So we're going to learn some tips on how to bring more calm and serenity to our minds and our lives. Um, I'm going to introduce the CEO of Vimes. Her name is Mercy Irasaba. She's going to speak to you in Spanish and I'm going to translate for her. And while you're, while we're doing that, if you could type in the chat where you're connected from, I'd appreciate it. Okay, Mercy, dale. <laughs> Gracias, Karen. Bienvenidos todos. Qué maravilla, Karen, tenerte esta noche con nosotros. Eres hoy la protagonista en Dimes Live y para nosotros es un verdadero privilegio trabajar con personas como tú. Tradúcelo, coloca el ego a un lado y dile a la gente lo que estoy diciendo. Ok, so Mercy says it's a privilege to have me on, a part of their team. Of course, everything they do is in Spanish. I'm the English side of Vimes. She's privileged to have me here with you guys. And so she feels happy. I'm excited too. Vamos a disfrutar esta noche de un rato de organización, de armonía y vas a tratar un tema que nos gusta muchísimo porque tiene que ver con un método que usamos acá en Dimes y le vamos a enseñar hoy a la audiencia. Así que esta audiencia es toda tuya, mi amor. Ok, gracias. She said we're going to talk about having a calm mind and you're going to learn a very important method that we use at Vimes Life to keep ourselves organized and to avoid procrastination. So 
let's get started. So I'm going to look in the chat. I have my phone here so I can focus. Uh, my lovely husband, Elvin, good evening from New York. We have Jonique Price in the house. Hey, Jonique. <laughs> uh, Roxy Ebony, hello. Thank you for your well wishes, Miss Queens. Okay, do your thing, she says. We have Alabama in the house, Florida, Pennsylvania. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Chica MB from Fort Lauderdale. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Here in New York, it was a beautiful 80-degree day. We were really happy to have it. I was nervous to put my, uh, <laughs> to go outside without my boots, but I did and it was all good. Okay, I also want to say hi to my team from VMS Life there behind the scenes to support me. Gracias, Alejandro, por el apoyo y merci. And let's get started. So having a calm mind is essential to leading a balanced and productive life. Organizing our environment can be a powerful tool to cultivate mental serenity. So we're going to talk about eight points to achieve serenity and calm. You ready? If you want to take notes, feel free. Please feel comfortable and calm. You're amongst family, okay? Um, you can feel free also to invite your friends and family right now. You can send the link out so they can join in because we're going to talk about some really good stuff, okay? So the first tip on having a calm mind is to eliminate clutter. Physical clutter can cause mental clutter. So taking the time to declutter our workspace and our home, it's not just physically cleaning but it's also getting rid of unnecessary objects that take up space and distract, right? So let's get in the chat. We're not gonna have any shame here. There's no judgment. This is a non-judgment zone. Who has clutter in their home? Can you say yes or nay, yay or nay in the chat? Um, one suggestion is to take a small project, start with the nightstand. After the Zoom, after this live, you can spend five minutes a day just organizing it, taking a few things out, tossing them, right? Removing old things can help us remove old feelings as well. You know, it helps us to move on. My dad passed away, it's gonna be 10 years in June. And I held on to his clothes for a long time. I had some of his beautiful suits and shoes and cologne. But once I had the courage to give them away to people who could use them and benefit from them, I felt a relief. And I realized I can still remember him without having his clothes in my closet, taking up much needed space. So sometimes we hold on to things and it actually keeps us tied down emotionally. We feel stuck and we can't move on, right? So, okay, I'm looking at the comments. Uh, <laughs> we have, oh, South Carolina versus Sales, uh, Kentucky, Palm Bay, Florida. Uh, yeah, so Chica MB said, oh boy, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Jess say, so said, no, not the clutter. <laughs> yeah, the clutter. <laughs> and we all have it because it accumulates. So we, that's one way to help alleviate stress and create a calm mind. Second one, uh, tip is to create an organization system, whether it's filing documents, sorting objects by category, or keeping an up-to-date calendar, or a bullet journal, or a therapeutic journal where we write everything out, keep our plans intact. It keeps everything in order, and you can plan your days and stay organized. It helps so much. Somebody says, "What you got? What you doing tomorrow?" I said, "Oop, let me check my calendar." Right, and that gives us calm and peace. We've written it down, and we have, you know, we keep tabs on it. Um, hey, Letty and Miss Spirals and Pam and Greg, hello. It's so good to have you all here. <laughs> I have my tissue in case you don't make me cry. I'm very appreciative for the support. Number three, look, my voice is getting... Uh, <laughs> number three is setting priorities. Sometimes feeling overwhelmed comes from not knowing where to start, right? So take a moment to identify your priorities and focus on that. This will help you direct your energy towards what really matters and reduce the feeling of chaos. So is it hard to set priorities? Let me know in the chat. Number four, practice minimalism. Simplifying your environment can simplify your mind. Consider reducing the amount of things you own and stick into only the essentials. And you know what that does? Not only will it make your space tidier, it'll feel tidier, it'll look tidier, but you'll be able to focus on what you really value. Isn't that interesting? It's, it's, it's amazing. Practice minimalism. Number five, cultivate healthy habits. 
maintaining a healthy lifestyle contributes to a calm mind. So this includes getting enough sleep, exercising regularly, meditating. And when we say meditate, we mean reflect. Reflection is so important. You sit at the end of the week and you say, this week, how did I do? Did I overextend myself? Mm, that's not good. Did I say yes too often and I really had other things to do that I pushed to the wayside? And so now reflecting on that, okay, I'm going to, that's my aim this week to set better boundaries, right? I'm going to do better. And then of course, eating a, bal a balanced diet. Over all these ha habits strengthen our well being and help us to manage stress more effectively. Number six. Practice gratitude, so important. Appreciating what you have instead of focusing on what you lack can change your perspective and promote mental serenity. So take a moment each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for, whether big or small. One suggestion is to keep a gratitude journal. Each day, write two or three things that you're grateful for. It can help you see the positive even in unpleasant experiences that we've had, we may have gone through a really serious trial, something very difficult. It can make us either bitter or better. And if we're better, good for us. Pat on the back, right? We're better because it allows us to be more compassionate to others. We can identify with others and we can be more understanding. So gratitude is very helpful. Let me just look in the chat. There's a lot going on. Jonique says she has a lot of clothes. <laughs> Gabriella T says, need to simplify things for sure. Okay, Yolanda, hi, I'm glad you're impressed. Thank you. <laughs> All right, number seven, take care of your workspace. We spend a lot of time in our works, workplace, whether at home or in the office. Some of us are hybrid, a little bit at home, a little bit at office, at the office. Keeping it clean, tidy, and nicely decorated can improve your mood and productivity. Have you ever passed someone's desk? And it's just filled with things, paper, and it, it affects our minds and we can't be as productive. Okay. Lastly, number eight is set limits. This is a good one. Are you ready? Learn to say no to demands that do not serve you and establish healthy boundaries in your personal and professional life. This is, this is so important. <laughs> It's a simple two-letter word, no, right? But it can be so difficult. But it helps you to keep your environment under control, your agenda, your schedule under control. You avoid excessive commitments that can generate what? Stress. When we overbook ourselves, we are stressed. And again, we're working on serenity, calm, right? Structure so we can have a better lifestyle. Miss Queen says she likes that gratitude. Yeah, keeping a gratitude journal helps immensely. Maggie Perry, hello, my friend, New Jersey, lo loving all the points. I'm glad you are. Uh, Celeste Rose says, I like that clean and decorated. Yes, because it makes us feel good and we deserve to be around beautiful things, right? Clean, tidy, organized, and pretty. And then Dr. Jess so says, yes, all about the boundaries, yes. <laughs> okay, so by implementing these tips, you can create an environment that fosters mental serenity and allows you to face life's challenges with calm and clarity. We can't stop the challenges from coming, but we can feel in control as we move through life, right? By uh, putting those tips into practice. Working in an orderly environment can have a number of benefits for our thoughts and our mental health. So we're going to talk about seven benefits, okay? One is mental clarity. So an orderly space eliminates unnecessary distractions and allows our mind to focus on important tasks. And this can improve mental clarity and make decision-making easier. Some people... They, they, they want to make the decision, but they can't. It's, it, it, the, there's like a fog in the brain. We want mental clarity. Another benefit, number two, stress reduction. Clutter can cause anxiety and stress. When we walk into a cluttered room, it's, it's overwhelming. So by organizing our environment, we reduce this emotional load. We create a calmer, more relaxing environment that facilitates what? Concentration and emotional well-being. That's what we need. 
so we can focus. Number three leads into that greater pro productivity. A tidy environment makes it easier to find objects and documents, which in turn increases effic efficiency and productivity. <laughs> How much time do we waste looking for our stuff, right? So by having everything in its place, we avoid wasting time and looking for things and we can spend more time on important tasks. Where are the scissors? Where are the, where? It's up top, the top shelf in the linen closet, right? Everybody knows. And then when you finish with it, make sure you put it back up there. So the next person that go, right? We spend less time looking for things. All right, I'm back to the chat. Be simple, Jonique says. Roxy Ebony says, let all people say no. Yes. Boundaries are a must, says Celeste Rose. Gabriella T said, yes, I agree. Chioma says, no is a complete sentence. That's right. Marlene Samora said, that's my problem not saying, no, 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 no wonder I'm all over the place. <laughs> so I'm glad you're here, Marlene. So you can apply these tips. Chica MB says, I love that word, no, but I'm having a hard time saying it. This is truly something I have to keep working on. It's a work in progress, but it's so worth it. We need it. We have to set boundaries. And Yolanda says, great job so far. Thank you, Yolanda. <laughs> Number four, creativity. So a tidy space can stimulate creativity by providing a clean canvas to work on. Again, very few things, one to three items on the table, on our desk. Creativity can flow. And it's so interesting with creativity School is so different these days, but, um, and in fact, uh, we have a, a para here, Dr. Jess, so maybe you could put in the chat, at what age do they start coloring in, in school? Now, I mean, kindergarten was eating graham crackers and coloring. Now they do math homework and stuff, but it, it, it reached, it, we played and we were creative and we drew and we did artwork and then it reached a point where it's like all right cut that out let's do some math social study science and then we spend the rest of our lives if we're not a creative being in general and very in touch with that we don't even cultivate the creative side of us whether it's art or music or dancing some people can write music play an instrument sing uh anything that's creative a tidy space can stimulate that creativity. Okay, Dr. Jess So says, yeah, eight, look at that. Age three, three K. That's the last time they focus on um creativity, drawing. Then it gets life gets serious. And creativity makes life flow, it makes it happy. It's time to set aside the serious things and get to dancing or drawing or doing artwork. So opening up this space clearing mental and physical clutter can open up space for new ideas and innovative approaches, okay? Number five, feeling of control. Maintaining an orderly environment helps us feel more in control of our lives. This increases our confidence and self-esteem. And here's a really good one. It reduces feeling of overwhelm. That is the worst. Some people wake up and just thinking about the day, they're already overwhelmed. They're done it, it just, and they can't move. They are, they, they literally cannot move. So we wanna feel in control of our environment, of our lives, very important. Number six, improve decision-making. So with an orderly environment, we can better evaluate our options and make more informed decisions. And the lack of clutter eliminates distractions and allows us to focus on the important details to make better decisions. Isn't that beautiful? Again, if we're stuck by overwhelm, we can't move forward. We can't make decisions. We can't make good decisions. So it's so important to uh, keep an orderly environment. And number seven, general well-being. Okay, uh, Natalie, hey, Nat, <laughs> on Yo-Yo's chat, got you. Okay, I see you. <laughs> Number seven, and the, lastly, is the benefit is general well-being. So an orderly environment can contribute to general well-being by promoting healthy habits. And here's a good one, reducing stress. When we feel good in our environment, it's orderly, it's tidy, it hugs us when we walk in. 
we also experience an improvement in our mental and emotional health. Hands down, it just, it happens. So those are seven benefits and it is so worth it. So as a review, working in an orderly environment can have a positive impact on our thoughts by promoting mental clarity, reducing stress, increasing productivity, encouraging creativity, whatever that it means for us, providing a sense of control and contributing to overall, overall well-being. It's a win-win, right? It's a win-win. Oh, my big sister's watching. Hey, big sis. Oh, now that's going to make me cry. All right, I'm holding it in. I'm trying to do my best to keep it together here. <laughs> so good to have everybody here. Okay, so it's a win-win. So we, we found out the benefits of um being organized and how to be more organized. So a really nice tip, who here suffers, deals with procrastination? <laughs> you know, some people look at people who procrastinate and they call them lazy, uninterested, unmotivated. That That's not it, it's just they're overwhelmed. So here's a really nice tip from VMS Life on how to overcome, how to deal with procrastination. Alejandro, por favor, puedes subir la foto el día eh, del, de esa cosita? <laughs> Alejandro, our uh, behind the scenes guy is going to put a picture up. Let's see. Okay. Do we know what this is? <laughs> it, it, it looks like a, a tomato, right? Uh, Gabby says me. Roxy Ebony says me with the procrastination. It's hard. So here is an amazing tip. It looks like a tomato, <laughs> but we're talking about the Pomodoro method. Pomodoro in Italian is in Italian means tomato. And it's a method for staying focused and mentally fresh. Wow. And it helps to combat, to overcome, to deal with procrastination. You're not lazy. You're overwhelmed. Yep. Maggie said, it's a timer. Celeste Rose says, it's a timer. Yes. And it's shaped like a tomato because it's the Pomodoro method. So let me explain what it is. It's valuable when it comes to organizing our environment for several reasons. It gives us structure and approach. The Pomodoro method divides work into short time intervals, usually 25 minutes, followed by short breaks of five to eight minutes. And this structure provides a clear framework for focusing on specific tasks, which can help avoid procrastination and maintain yourself focused in an organized environment. Basically, it helps you to, it makes it easy to start and not get overwhelmed and procrastinate because you set the timer. And uh, you can actually find it. You can download. If you look in your app store, you can find the Pomodoro and it's a timer and you set it and then it'll bing after 25 minutes or whatever amount of time you want. 25 minutes. The brain can focus on one thing do 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 get it done. And then it says, OK, time for rest. And it'll, it's an amazing thing. It has changed my life. OK, um, so it gives a structure. Right. Because like, oh. The, the timer started. All right, let me focus. I'm working on this dresser drawer, right? I'm going to organize it and all of that, okay? It also increases productivity because by setting defined limits, right, time limits for each task, 25 minutes, it encourages efficiency and productivity because you feel so good knowing that you have only 25 minutes to complete a task. It motivates you to work more focused and, and make the most of your time. It's really good. Here's another benefit. It fights mental fatigue. So short breaks between each work interval helps prevent mental fatigue and maintain an optimal level of energy and concentration. Again, because you're focused, but you know, after 25 minutes, I'm going to get a break. And this is especially useful when you're working on organizing your environment, decluttering, organizing, because it's a task that requires attention to detail and constant mental effort. And it's emotional. Do I get rid of these shoes that I've had for the last 10 years, but they don't do anything for me anymore, right? Whatever the situation, focus, concentration, optimal level of energy, okay? It also encourages time management. So it forces you to be more aware of how you're using your time. 
It helps you to prioritize your tasks more effectively. And this is useful when organizing your environment because it allows you to divide work into more manageable tasks and set realist, realistic goals for each work session. Even at the job, your boss throws a bunch of stuff on your desk. It's like, oh, you set that timer for 25 minutes. I'm going to give it my all. And we're able to get it done. Here's a really good thing. It also reduces feelings of overwhelm. That overwhelm feeling is, it, it's, it paralyzes you. So by dividing the work into shorter intervals, it makes tasks seem less overwhelming and more achievable. This can be beneficial when organizing a messy environment. <laughs> and it allows us to approach each task step-by-step step without feeling overwhelmed by the, mm, the, the sheer magnitude of the work. My closet, you know, the short intervals, okay? So in summary, the Pomodoro method is valuable in organizing your environment because it provides a clear and focused structure for work. It increases productivity. It combats mental fatigue. It encourages time management. And it reduces feelings of overwhelm by dividing tasks into shorter, more manageable intervals. Here's another thing. In between the 25-minute intervals, take like a five to nine-minute break stretch, go to the bathroom, don't get on social media. Instagram can just take you away, right? And it's not going to allow you to get back to the work. Stretch, go to the bathroom, drink some water, do three minutes of deep diaphragmatic breathing, right? And that will refresh you. And then, all right, let's get back to it. And then on the app, you just press it again and it'll know, okay, let's start the timer again. It's really amazing. And that is the best tip of the day <laughs> for you guys. Um, Alejandro, puede poner el enlace al grupo de WhatsApp en el chat, por favor? We have another live coming next Monday. Oh, he's good. He put it up there right away. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> and um, I would love the, the, the link to the WhatsApp group chat is in the chat. If you could... Press on it, join the group. We have all kinds of goodies coming um, to help us to live more serene lives, be more productive, reduce overwhelm feeling, uh, more about the Pomodoro method. We have a class coming up, a lot of surprises, and you would be the first to know it's free if you just doop and put yourself on, join the chat so you can get the, the information clear and simple and right on time. All right. It has been a pleasure, 828, wow, 28 minutes, we did good. I didn't want to keep you long. Everybody's work is Monday, it's the beginning of the week. Elvin, my boo-boo said, so proud of you, thank you. <laughs> and um, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. It'll be next Monday at 8 p.m. as well. Short and sweet, but chock full of goodness, all right? Be well. Thank you again. Please like and subscribe. Pass the link on to others. If they weren't here live, they can still um, see it. It'll be playing on YouTube for as long as we live. Maite, excellent dear. Love the Pomodoro method. Thank you so much. Roxy, Ebony, excellent job. Thank you so much. I did it, guys. I did it. My first live. <laughs> Maggie, I'm a natural. Thank you so much. Love you all. Big hugs. And I hope you can put into practice some of these good things. And I look forward to seeing you all next Monday. Dr. Jessel said, bien hecho. That means good job. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. How can I get a recap, Miss Queens? As soon as we finish, you will, it'll be on YouTube. You'll be able to get right into that link and it'll, re it'll replay. It's there forever on YouTube. PJ says, heart, thank you so much. Chica MB, you did an awesome job. Thank you so much. And have a great evening. We're done here. <laughs> Gabby, thank you. Karen, you're amazing. Thank you. You guys are amazing. It was really a pleasure. I really appreciate the interaction. The activity in the chat was beyond what I expected. Gracias. Thank you, Leti. Gracias, Leti. Marlene, Yolanda, love the hugs and the kisses and the hearts. I appreciate it all. Alejandro, ya terminamos. Muchas gracias. Qué maravilla, Karen. Qué movimiento en el chat. ¿verdad? Qué bien. Se nota que todos estaban, estaban muy atentos a tu explicación. 
Thank you. Excelente. <risa> lo disfrutamos un montón. Besos said, para esa audiencia. <risa> Mercy Mer said she enjoyed it. She loved the movement in the chat. It was, it was very active. Oh, Miss Queens is Shawnee. Hey, Shawnee. Sheila G. Awesome. Thank you, Celeste Rose Chow. Thanks again, guys. Mwah. Bye. <risa> See you soon. Un gusto estar con ustedes nuevamente, queremos aprovechar de darles la bienvenida a los que están entrando a este canal, si es primera vez que estás visitando Business Live, deseamos que disfrutes el contenido, que puedas también sumarte al canal, suscríbete y queremos darte un avance de lo que hemos logrado y lo que ahora el canal tiene disponible para ti. Son tres membresías que tendremos en nuestro canal. Todo está servido, puedes ingresar hoy mismo a la membresía que más te conviene, a la membresía que te va a beneficiar a ti y que te va a mantener unidito con nosotros, con la familia Vimes Live para seguir optimizando la salud emocional. Y hay algo muy interesante que debes tener presente, que puedes empezar con la primera membresía e ir escalando. Puedes ir escalando, de esa forma vas a poder ir desarrollándote en, tu, en, en la formación emocional, en la gestión de las emociones, en el crecimiento como persona y luego acceder al siguiente, a la siguiente membresía y luego a la de pioneros emocionales. Y así también nos irán conociendo, Ale, me parece que eso es algo importantísimo porque vas dando pasos seguros. Sin embargo, los de ustedes que ya tienen años con la familia Vines y nos conocen, pueden comenzar desde la membresía número 3. En esta membresía quería recordar algo. Van a tener descuentos importantes en los cursos que nosotros demos. De aquí en adelante habrán otras membresías y los mantendremos informados. Así que queremos que te unas en esta oportunidad, en este campo que nos permite disfrutar y alcanzar nuestros objetivos. Nos vemos dentro en las membresías.